ranging from the collapse of the Peace River Suspension Bridge to Princess Margaret turning on the gas in Taylor. Each of the 24 photos represents a unique part of the Peace region's history. Although people who adopt them won't get the original, they'll get a print, along with an adoption certificate. They'll also get to learn about the process. It allows us to raise awareness of all the details that go into the the photographs and its preservation, as well as help raise money to preserve the photographs. The historical pictures were selected from a collection of thousands, based on their relevance in history and range of content. We have photographs of our main street and businesses, like some of the ones behind me. We have photographs of sports teams for the sports fans. We have photographs inside certain businesses that might uh, ring a bell for some of our seniors in the community. Heather says it's important to give people the chance to own a piece of history and to be a part of the museum. People can come in and learn about the community, where we came from, maybe where we're going. With Fort St. John having a smaller museum, the money raised will also help them continue to put on exhibits, instead of everything being moved to a larger one in the south. People can come and learn about our history here and the information stays in the piece. The archival photos are available for adoption until the end of November. Depending on how much you donate when you adopt your photo, along with the print, you could receive a variety of books or a membership to the museum. Lachlan Drash Bevan, CJDC TV News, Fort St. John. Salon and barber services provided by Skinnovations. Be swept away to a world of peace and tranquility at Skinnovations Salon and Day Spa.